What up, everybody? What's going on? Where's Happy Gamer? I'm back. And we are about to do another video for you guys today. This video is brought to you by Dusko. Who the hell is Dusko? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no idea who he is, where he's from, or who his father is. But what I do know is Dusko was on our live stream today. By the way, come check me out live every weekend at 3 p.m. Eastern time, guys. Don't miss the streams. We have a lot of fun. So Dusko was on the stream today as well as some other people. And I did a little bit of a uh, little giveaway, which I would let the next person, the winner of the giveaway, pick my next video idea. So Dusko obviously won. His idea sucked in the beginning, so we made him change it. And he gave me this idea. So uh, for pretty much this idea is very simple one, guys. We haven't done this in a long time. We are about to break down all of the shops. A little retail. Therapy, all right? I love retail therapy. If you know anything about me, I love just to get a bunch of money or actually get a credit card and just run to the store and just buy my shit. It is my thing. I love it. So we are about to do the same thing right now, but I'm going to help you out. If you're new to the game, this is going to help you out tremendously, save you a lot of, a lot of time. And it's probably going to save you a lot of coins. And if you're a little bit of an older player and you know the deal, then you can just click off the video. You best not click off that video. So anyways, guys, let's get right into it. I think I'm going to begin the first one with the arena shop and then let's see who's in there. All right. So for the arena armory, guys, the, this is the heroes that we have in there. From my knowledge, from what I know so far, we have Ethero, we have Mazir, Namtar, Nelia, Vespix, and Xanos. Those are the heroes that I'm pretty sure are in the arena armory. Now, before we even start the rest of the video, you should just know. Number one advice, do not spend your coins on items okay just don't do it don't spend it on items uh it will not help you out in the long run at all your so hero stars is way more important in the beginning all right so you want to get the hero that you're going for you definitely want to go and try to seven storm as fast as possible but that's probably not the best strategy so if you are just starting off the number one thing that you should do is focus on one hero get as many pieces of him as you can this way you unlock them, take them to at least five, possibly six stars, but definitely five stars earlier on. And then work on the next hero in that same shop and bring them to five stars. If it's two heroes that I'm going to recommend, all right, because some shops don't have that many heroes that you should be going for. So if I recommend more than one hero in a shop, take one to five stars. Then start on the next one, take them to five stars. That is my number one recommendation. Another thing that you should do possibly is unlock one hero, then spend some coins to unlocking the second hero, and then go back to that first hero and then upgrading them. Uh, you don't want to just focus on one hero and then wait later on to unlock another hero and then have to level them up all the way. Sometimes it's a lot easier when you're leveling and upgrading a hero as you're progressing through the game. All right, so that would be... A couple of tips that I have for you, all right? So for the arena armory, guys, the best hero in this class is none of them. To be honest, late game situations, none of these heroes actually even matter. You will not be using any of them in most situations. So um, I would possibly recommend that you save your coins for right now. But if I were to pick one hero, in this class, I would say Mazir and Nilia would be your top choices for the Arena Armory. Both uh, DPS Magic Heroes. That's pretty much about it, guys. Namtar Athera is decent in the Arena, actually. Early game, she will definitely help you out. But I'm trying to help you guys late game situations here, all right? Uh, that's the goal. To spend as least amount of money in the game as you can while being successful. So, Xanos and Vex picks another two heroes that you just do not use late game. So, for right now, I would probably suggest save your armory coins until they release a really good hero in there and then go for that hero. Or if you really do want to get somebody earlier on, you need to spend these coins because you're falling behind on the rest of the server. Then you could go with Nilia. She's going to help you out a lot. Mazir is also really, really good. But Mazir did not reach his full potential until he's 7 star. All right, so keep that in mind. Unless you're going all the way with Mazir to 7 star, he's not going to reach his full potential. So to make a long story short, if you got to get somebody, get Nilia. If you don't have to get somebody, save your coins for another day. All right, guys. So moving on up to the next arena shop here. This is the Gladiator Shop. And this one is a lot better than the arena shop. First of all, there is some definitely useful heroes here. 
And not only that, but we do have a greater selection of heroes. We go up to 10 different heroes in this shop. The arena shop was only 6. Now we have 10 heroes in here. So this should be interesting as to what heroes you should go for first. There is a lot of different options here. So let's just name all the heroes that we have uh, to choose from. And then we'll go from there. So we have Adeline, Daphne, we have Garek, Kazar, Lumos, Magnus, Sagar, Seraphin, Solomon and Volko. All right, so a lot of definitely different uh, pieces you can go from there. Now, first of all, let's just quickly, I'm going to eliminate the heroes that I don't think you should go for right away because they're just not useful in many parts of the game and I just haven't used them at all, even though I've upgraded some of these heroes. I just don't use them a lot, guys, and I don't see many people that are using them at all. So let's just go ahead and take off, first of all, Daphne. Don't really use her too much. She's beautiful, but dang it, girl. She ain't doing it for me. Um, Cigar also, take him off the list. He's just not doing it for me. Doesn't really do much damage and uh, dies really, really quickly. Really, really cool ability set. Just for some reason, defenses are way too low and he dies right away. Seraphin, another hero that's just not cutting it. Really, really strong early game. Seraphin. Uh, you probably will face a lot of guys that have Seraphin and you're like, damn, she's killing me, man. But late game, terrible, guys. Believe me. Solomon, another hero that's not doing that great for me right now. I am on his second Awakening quest, so maybe he will change my mind. But don't really use Solomon that much at all. All right, so those heroes definitely don't go for. Now, let's talk about the other heroes that are above that tier of crap heroes. Now we got Adeline. Adeline is a really, really good hero, guys. A great frontline hero. Magic, DPS, frontline tank, uh, tank you could say, but um, regenerates health. She's definitely really useful in the arena, in the, in the gladiator arena that we're talking about as well. So you do have to make a lot of different teams. So she's definitely a good hero to have. Not a must-have hero, not a top-tier hero. But she's definitely, I would say, a B-tier hero. And uh, you definitely could go for her. But not as your first hero here. Alright, uh, next up, let's talk about Garik. Now, Garik is a really, really great hero, guys. Garik will help you out throughout the game. He's going to help you out earlier, mid and late game. Especially late game. He's great for raids. Really, really powerful in the 17, 18 chapter raids. Boss rate is really good. His ultimate is going to give your team a lot of buffs, depending on how lucky you get. But uh, don't really use them a lot in the arena, like I said before. You could use them in the gladiator arena, depending on the teams that you build. But when I mention that, don't forget, guys. There's a lot of heroes you can lose use in the gladiator arena because you can make a whole bunch of different teams. Pretty much every hero you can use there. But do they do good? That's the whole point. So Garik. Could help you out there. Crucible of Fire, everybody can, you know, is useful there. But he definitely is a good option for the Crucible of Fire. Hall of Legends, yes, he was really, really good back in the day. But now, falling off a lot with all the newer heroes. But like I said before, guys, late game, Garik is a great support hero to have. And he dished out some good damage as well. So, I would put Garik in the same category as Adeline, except I would... Prioritize Garik before Adeline, in my opinion. Next up, Kazar. Kazar is an interesting hero. Don't really use him in a lot of different uh, aspects of the game. PvP, he's pretty good. Could come in handy a lot. But PvE, not really good. That's the only trouble with him. He's flying, so just help you in the pool. But other than that, he's mainly just to put in your arena. If you can max him out all the way, he might be helpful in some you know, arena battles, but to be honest, guys, I prioritize them under Adeline, all right? Uh, another hero we're talking about now is Lumos. Lumos is a actually a really interesting and good hero to have. He's a really, really good support hero. Uh, the only problem is his ultimate is very unexpected. You do not know which hero it's going to go on, which hero it's going to buff, which kind of sucks. You know what I mean? If you can kind of manipulate it so it goes on a certain hero each battle that you know what to expect you just don't know what to expect so that's the only trouble with him but he is really 
good if you put him on a pretty decent magic using team somewhere in your gladiator arena teams he definitely can help you off max him out all the way but he's not a must own hero i would put uh, lumos under adeline ahead of kazar all right so so far we got garic adeline lumos kazar in that order of which you should go for next up we're going to be talking about magnus magnus is actually one of the better backline heroes in the game guys there's so many different things he'll speed up your team he'll throw his grenade or will slow down your opponents thus making your team look faster he has a one-shot kill uh, ultimate which does a lot of damage and if it does kill then it gives him a lot of different other you know enhancements to him as well more dodge so on and so forth so magnus is a pretty good hero to have for the arena mainly for the arena you will not really use magnus for any other aspects of the game but for the arena he's definitely definitely useful so if you do need a backliner and i'm pretty sure he's going to be good mid game uh early game and late game as well magnus is a hero that i would definitely recommend for you guys and i would put magnus to be honest on the same tier with garic i mean who uh this is the tricky part i mean you have two here players starting off at level one one guy goes with garic one guy goes with magnus in the arena i'm pretty sure magnus would win but raids hall of legends the guy with garic would probably be uh, scoring better damage so it depends on what you're trying to do but i like them both guys it's a really hard for me to pick to be honest all right so go with whoever you like all right and the last hero of this shop guys is volko volko really interesting and really awesome looking hero great abilities looks awesome dies quick was at one point one of the best heroes in the game obviously has fallen off because the games do evolve don't forget as newer heroes come out older heroes are going to kind of fall off happens all the time but then eventually they bring them back with enhanced stats and new skins and awakenings as they're trying to do already all right so hopefully uh, they balance the game out so all heroes are used you know useful in different situations but volko is a great hero to have um he's kind of the same tier as magnus guys except magnus is your backline hero single single target uh damage dealer Volko on the other hand he hits more than one opponent he hits pretty much all heroes when it's ultimate and it does a lot of damage that's why Volko early game would be a great advantage to have uh, I'm pretty sure Volko would be one of the best heroes you can have up until you get to the late game maybe even to level 100 because once he hits level 100 and then all the heroes start to get really really powerful their defenses increase HP increases and you max them out with their enchantments with their items then that's when Valko starts falling off a little bit because his ultimate just doesn't do enough damage to take out everybody all at once but earlier on when defenses are a little weaker less HP his attacks do so much damage it's unbelievable um, his specialty is jumping into the back line and then starts hitting your opponents from behind so that's another great advantage to have with Volko. So for the arena, Volko is really, really good to have, especially early game to mid game. And I think I would probably, if I was starting off from scratch right now, guys, I would probably prioritize Volko as my number one guy. Just because I want to do better in the arena, obviously more payouts, better diamond payouts. So the higher you can score in the arena, even if it's, let's just say you just score, I don't know, 50 extra diamonds a day. It's not a lot, but it helps a lot. So you go from 400 to 450, or you go from 200 to 250, 50 times seven, that's 350 more gems that you would be able to get each week. And if you save them and you're smart about it, you know, they add up guys, everything adds up. So I would say prioritize, you know, doing good in the arena because the arena actually is the only place that you get your diamonds. The other places, they will give you better equipments, better items, more coins for their shops. But if you want to prioritize diamond getting arena is definitely something you want to focus on so i would probably say go with volko adel will help magnus is great for the arena as well and if you want to do a little pve garic is your guy so that's pretty much the gladiator shop right there guys so i hope that helped all right so welcome to the guild emporium guys this shop is actually pretty cool it's got a couple of heroes that i really really recommend that you're gonna need in the late game and some heroes that you probably should not even focus on don't waste your resources so let's just break it down real quick uh starting off we have uh the heroes in this shop are alice avior driller jasmine lars mariel suki and raxias so pretty good selection i would say 
about eight heroes here uh so pretty much the heroes that i would not recommend you go for right off the bat they're not really going to be that useful hmm that's tricky because early on all heroes are useful but let's just concentrate on late game guys all right so in the late game i don't use alice much i'm not really using uh lars much either jasmine only in crucible of fire very rarely don't really use her much either raxius he dies too quick don't use him much even though he's really cool he can do a lot of different things and uh, if they buff him up he would be awesome but for now don't really uh you know use raxius avior don't really use him either driller interesting hero i like driller don't really mess with him a lot either but for the arena i can see driller re you know being pretty useful because of his different abilities or wait a minute driller is a girl i keep forgetting that it's a female hero so driller could be okay and not really and lars kind of same deal as driller they both gonna interrupt your opponents jumping from all over the field two little you know different places for the heroes but and i forgot to also mention slim too i forgot about slim daddy how could i forget about slim uh slim another one of those heroes that i don't really like too much either uh if you're gonna go with a backline shooter like that like i would totally 100 percent go with magnus instead so slim don't do it so which kind of leaves me to only two options here guys which leaves us with mariel and suki these two heroes are the only heroes that right now currently I'm actually using in the end game. Uh, I do a lot of different things with Mariel. Arena, mainly an arena hero with Mariel. She's terrific in the arena. Especially when you need to counter Valon. She is literally right now the only Valon counter other than Valon. Because Valon is running the arena from my server at least. So everybody in my server, the top 10 guys, <laughs> pretty much all use Valon guys. He's just that good in the arena as a tank. But uh, Mariel will take down his shield with her shadows. Which is something really good to have. And uh, that's pretty much it. So Mariel is kind of very situational. Don't know if she should be your all-in hero from here. So if you're going to go all-in with somebody. You slowly work on Mariel for the late games. For the end games. To counter Valan. That's pretty much it. Don't go crazy with it. Suki, on the other hand, is a terrific hero to have, all right? Suki is pretty much essentially must-have hero for the Hall of Legend Petros, all right? That is Suki's number one usability in the game. Hall of Legend Petros, without Suki, you are not going to get anywhere near the top. That's as simple as that, guys. That's the only reason why you would even work on Suki. So that's why I would prioritize Suki as your number one hero here. Go for Suki as much as you can. All the other heroes somehow will fade into non-existence later in the game. All right, they're all gonna kind of like. This is what I'm trying to save you guys from not, you know, doing is working on the hero till you get to about 90, 95, level 100. You worked on him, you gave him all these good items, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I got this other cool new hero that I just got. I'm going to start working on him and all those items went to crap. So if you don't need to work on any of these heroes, meaning you have 5 or 10 other heroes that you're working on, but you're not sure if you should use these heroes, don't do it. Work on Suki for sure. You're going to need him for the Hall of Legend. And all these other ones, you don't really need to work on. Muriel, you can work on Muriel as well because she's going to help you out countering Valon. But that's it. If you need Avior for the flying... Uh, pool prophecy pool you could work on avior for a little bit until you get past that pool but what happens is once you get once you three star the max level then you're never going to use them again so there's other flying heroes that you can work on as well all right so guild emporium pretty simple breaking it down for you guys i hope that helped all right guys so now we jump into the fun part the crucible uh supply wagon this is going to be the shop that you have the most currency for because uh, you're going to be doing Crucible of Fire every single day, resetting it and doing it again. You're gonna, so you're going to be able to get a lot of these uh, dragon coins, as they call them. And then you can uh, definitely, by the end game, guys, if you just stick with the game, even if you're free to play, this is the one shop that you will actually be able to 7-star most of these heroes, if not all of these heroes, in there without even having to spend any money. Because this shop is 
very free to play friendly all right now let's talk about the heroes in the shop and see which ones are actually usable and which ones you don't really need some of these heroes you're not even gonna need at all but because this is the only shop that is free to play as well they do offer some good options in here that you know can kind of help you out throughout the game so let's go ahead right into it right now so let's break down the heroes we got dokras we got kong ling ling more fear petrol shirley tashi toros fallen and zen now if i ever if i miss a hero one of these shops guys i apologize let me know in the comments if i miss somebody i'm sure you guys will but i'm pretty sure this is from what i've done from resetting uh, the the shops this is the heroes in there so let's just begin with dokras first end game dokras not really usable at all really guys so uh, at one point i do remember dokras was a must-have hero because once he got his awakening he would hide in the back and just increase his power so much he would strike you with his lightning and just totally obliterate everybody but very very un really don't really use him much right now so don't go with dokras as your first hero here we've got a couple of different heroes as well that i don't really recommend you work on at the moment uh surely being one of them not a really great tank right now don't really find much usability for Shirley end game tashi a uh, cool looking hero don't really use him much right now toros as well <sighs> really good mid-level hero but just not using him as much either tholin has got a lot of cool abilities tholin is going to help you out mid game for your raids he is a, actually a really really good hero to use on raids but he's fallen off the map a lot as well with the newer heroes as, as as newer heroes get released some of these heroes fall off like always but fallen has fallen off a lot as well now the heroes that you will definitely need late game that are probably not going to help you all much early game which is kind of sad but that's just how it works guys so ling ling the number one hero in this shop believe it or not her abilities are not going to help you out in the arena at all so a lot of people may not go for her right away which i don't recommend you go for her right away as well guys earlier on my recommendation as your number one hero in this shop is going to be you go with either petros or you go with zen all right two heroes that are going to help you out in in the arena earlier on now late game only zen still has a usability because you can use him in the hall of legends if you use him in the Hall of Legends versus Kong, he does really, really well. But Petros, on the other hand, he's going to be really good for you in the Gladiator Arena because he's a great tank, reflects a lot of damage. So you're going to be using him throughout the game in the arena the whole time. And Zem is actually not a bad hero for the arena as well. So you take your pick as to which abilities go with your team. This all depends on what the rest of your four heroes are going to be on your team, guys, all right? Because uh, if you have Haruk on your team and you're going to be going for that Haruk buff, you might want to go with Petros. Alright, but uh, Zem, like I said, very usable as well. So those would be my top two choices for this arena right away. Petros and Zem. Morphir, he's not a bad hero in the arena. Just mainly countering a lot of magic heroes. He's going to do single a lot of splash damage to a bunch of different heroes in there. But he's not a must-have hero late game. Kong is another one of those heroes. You're just not really going to use him much later on. That's the only part. Ling Ling, you slowly need to start working on Ling Ling. All right. Like I said, early to mid game, she's not that great. But in the late game and maybe even in the mid game for the Hall of Legends and for the raids, you're going to need a Ling Ling. Trust me on that. You're going to need... Ling Ling to be as strong as she can because she's going to give your team a lot of buffs. Very, very useful hero. So take it at that. Fallen, I talked about. We talked about Tashi, Toros. So yeah, that's it, guys. Very simple. Three heroes in the shop that you really should focus on. Petros, Ling Ling, Zam. Let's go to the next one. Right, so here we are, guys. Legendary shop, the last shop in the review now. Now, this shop is probably the hardest shop that you're going to get the heroes from. Unlike the Crucible of Fire, this one is difficult to rank really high. Mm, and they build up really slowly here. And there's a lot of good options that you could possibly use in here as well. So let's go ahead, let's break it down, and let's see 
which heroes I would recommend for you guys for this one. It's a little bit tricky now because I've 7 starred all of these heroes at this point and I'm not using any of them. That's the sad part guys. Late game, none of these heroes just have any usability. Now sadly what they're doing is they got a lot of flying heroes in this shop. I don't know if that was by accident or if that was by design. So we got Arcturus. Let's just break down all the heroes in here and then we'll we'll talk about it. But we've got uh, Alicia, we've got Arcturus, we got Gizmo, we got Dremor. Or should I say Dremor? Nah, it doesn't work with Dremor. It only works with Gizmo. Uh, we got Havoc, Conrad, the Lee Twins, uh, Nightshade, Cel Celeste, and Tarth. My homegirl Tarth. My love and my sweetheart. All right. So like I said before... There's a total of four flying heroes in here, which is weird because you're going to need literally a good amount of them. You might need all of them or a few of them to do the prophecy pool, which kind of sucks, guys. You might have to prioritize getting a couple of these ones. But if I do recommend the flying hero, uh, Gremor would be the one that I love the most. It does a lot of damage for the arena. Double-headed, does two different things. He will freeze your opponent plus deal fire damage. And he's good in Crucible of Fire as well, as well as the flying um Arcturus, the Lee Twins, uh, Havoc, they all are decent heroes. The Lee Twins are okay support. One does damage, one heals. The problem is they're kind of good at multiple things, but not great at anything, right? So they're kind of like that saying goes, good at a lot of things and master at nothing, which I just exactly said before. But anyways, Lee Twins are average and uh, Havoc... Havoc, I like Havoc's abilities. If his attributes were to be buffed, Havoc could be a really, really good uh, arena hero. Just because of the way his attributes go. I mean, the, the way his abilities go. His ultimate does a lot of damage. And then when he dies, his buffs will be transferred to another hero. So, I've always envisioned Havoc as being a really, really good hero. But, like I said, he's an older hero. And uh, the game always pushes out the new hero, newer heroes for the top guys. So we always focus on the newer heroes. We forget about these good heroes down at the bottom there. But uh, yeah, so Conrad, Celeste, Taurith, Nightshade. All of these heroes, guys, are average mid-tier heroes. Meaning you will not be able to make it to the top of the arena with any of these heroes. That's the sad part. But if I were to recommend one or two of these heroes that you should be working on, Alicia is a really, really good hero. She's going to be doing a lot of magic DP, a lot of magic damage to a lot of heroes. She could come in handy in your arena battle. So that's one hero that I would probably recommend. Tarith, on the other hand, is actually decent single target damage hero and a support tank as well. All right. So Tarith, you could work on her, but late game, don't think she's going to really... You know what I mean? Make your team. So, yeah, guys. If it was up to me and you could wait and save your points, wait and save them. You can only actually build a certain amount of these, you know, legendary shop leaves. You can't go over a certain amount of points. So you're going to have to spend them somehow. And at this point as well, I would say go with the hero that would kind of make your team. Meaning if you already have a couple of tanks and you needed a backline hero or you need a midline hero... You know, you could go with uh, a Nightshade or you could go with Havoc or Gremor or Alicia. They're all decent choices. But none of these guys are going to really, really make your team, guys. That's the sad part. So don't really like many of these heroes in the shop. But that's my honest opinion, guys. I hope that this video helped you guys out in deciding on what heroes you should go for in these shops. Uh, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you... If it does or it doesn't. Either way, I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.